Well, I just got an email from Michelle Barland Smith, and it was from an attorney. Um, they sent out a mass email saying that there is a lady in Fenton which um, is sitting in front of bulldozers. Um, Enbridge wants to take out a hundred foot of her land, but they don't even have the easement rights yet. They haven't. They don't have approval. They're trespassing, and she's like, "You're not coming on my property." And Enbridge is like. You know, they think they can get away with whatever they want, that they can trespass, that they can stake out your property without your permission. Um, these companies just think that they can do whatever they want and they get away with it most of the time. Well, the police showed up and said they're not going to do anything because she owns the property. Enbridge doesn't have any legal rights. And so um, Enbridge has to go to court now. Enbridge does not want to do that. People need to know that you have rights. And you need to know that when they take out trees on your property, you actually can get them to uh, pay for the assessment and everything that those trees are worth. I mean, they might offer you $5,000 for your property to lease it, but your property is not your property anymore. You can never do anything with that property. It's done. So it's really not your property. You own it. You pay taxes on it, but you can't do nothing with it. And then you have all the, the loss of trees and everything, which is revenue if you wanted to sell them. So what you do is you have Enbridge do an assessment and you can charge them the amount of what those trees are worth. So instead of them giving you $5,000 for that property, now they're going to give you $50,000 for that property. I've seen it done. Enbridge will lie to you, say they'll take an intimate domain, it's theirs, but they got to do this in court, and a judge will tell them that they got to pay you what you're This trailer, this camper, and it's basically my my investigation mobile unit. <laughs> I uh, I'll drive to. I have to drive two hours right now. I filled it up with T-shirts. Um, I bought seven thousand. Well, actually, I bought about ten thousand dollars in T-shirts. I've already gave away about four thousand for free. This is out of my pocket. All this gas money is out of my pocket. The signs. The banners, everything I do, it comes out of my pocket. I don't have any donation money. I don't have nobody helping me out. So, um, if you ever want to, I would, you know, I could use the help. If you ever want to purchase a T-shirt um, or give me a donation for them, that's all up to you. You know, um, I just basically need gas money to get around and do what I do. I don't, I don't care about wages. I don't care about making any money off of this. If I could just get half of what I've spent back. Um, so I could buy more t-shirts to give out for free or, or make banners um, or signs that I would love to do that. So um, thank you and I'll let you know what we see when we get to uh, this lady's house and I'll do some more videotaping. I was a whistleblower for the oil spill. I used to work for a company that worked for them okay. and they were burying oil when the spill happened. And so I turned them in and they had to redig up like one area was $25 million I'm guessing just to redig it up a year and a half after they said it was clean. Okay. And so I just go around giving speeches and I heard about you and I just wanted to come talk to you and okay. come out here and see what you're doing. Is sure. there a place I can park this thing? Now. Okay. And I'll tell you why. We were granted a temporary restraining order from Good. Judge Hattie. Awesome. In Livingston County. We have a hearing set for September 25th to give us time. I believe they have spilled on our property. I think our property is contained. Okay. This is 6B Pipeline, and we're in Fenton Township, over by Detroit. Just showing you that this is their work area. Do you see where those stakes are? Right next to their garage. That's how close they're going to be. We're talking about a couple feet away. Look at this amazing house. But it doesn't matter if you live in a trailer. Enbridge lies. Go to helpa.org. And see the lies of them hurting people in my community of Battle Creek, Michigan, and now they're trespassing on land here in Fenton Township. And a judge just put a cease and desist so they can't touch any more of this property that's not on the easement, um, which they're illegally doing. And they think they can get away with this, and they do it everywhere. Don't let them get away with it. You have rights. the right to build the second pipeline in May by the Public Service Commission of the state. And they said he has. They have in their agreement what's called a multiple multiple line right. I'm just I'm just spitting it back out. You know what I mean. I have to call them too, to see their side of it. 
They said that they that you would be compensated that they wanted 25 more feet. Well, so how, they would have how do you compensate when they haven't did an, an assessment of all the trees and what the value is oh, yeah. prior to cutting them down? Them. They're planning on, they're not going to shut the old pipe down. They're going to use both of them. Right, he did say that. Yeah. They're planning on, they're not going to shut the old pipe down. They're going to use both of them. Right, he did say that. Yeah. Well, they're telling everybody else that they're going to cap it off, clean it out, and let and it sit there. It. Oh. So they're, they're telling two stories. Now, they just told you the news, a different story than they told everybody in my hometown. Where the oil spill was? Artusi? No, I do not know. He's a project spokesperson. He right. said, "Do you know who that is?" I know who that is. Okay. We have a different spokesperson in Battle Creek. Send it to me. Let's see if he did. Wow, they're telling two completely different stories. Gary Field. F I E L D. Yes. Gary, what happened today in court? What did you get, and what did you say, and what ha what where where does it stand? Uh, I was there with a couple other attorneys representing landowners. Um, we went in front of Judge Hattie and requested a temporary restraining order to uh, require Enbridge to cease uh, their activities until it was clear what rights they have to uh, um, cut down all these trees. And so did the judge grant that for you? What happened? Well, actually, Enbridge was there at the same time filing a request for a temporary restraining order against the Henses because they wanted to require her to uh, get out of the chair she was sitting in so they could proceed. So we had competing uh, motions for restraining orders in front of Judge Hattie. They asserted they had the right to do what they're doing we uh, argued that was an extreme strain of the easement language. Uh, the easement permits them to clear trees within the existing 60 feet right away. It does not permit them to clear trees outside of the existing um, 60 feet right away. They say it does because of this multiple line easement agreement or? Well, the multiple line agreement just means they can lay one or more pipelines within the 60 mm, feet. Okay. They're not relying upon that part. Okay. They're relying upon a part of the easement that says they can use immediately adjacent space mm -hmm. in their construction of the one or more pipelines. So what happened in court? What did the judge do? Well, the judge wanted additional briefing, um, wanted to hear the arguments in more in depth. He has a series of questions he wanted mm -hmm. us to address okay. in briefs. We have a briefing schedule, and then September 25, we all reconvene and uh, continue the arguments. And in the meantime? In the meantime, uh, Enbridge cannot uh, do any activity outside of the existing 60 Debbie, foot. What, what are you going through? What has this done to you? What, what are you feeling today? Uh, well, I feel extremely violated today. Um, I, thought I, I thought that I took care of protecting my rights when I hired an attorney to uh, alert Enbridge that they could not be on our property without legal, legal signature. Uh, on our part or from a judge, and I talked to their right-of-way agent, Russ Suxy, um, and, uh, and told him, I'm alerting you, you are not to be on my property. If you're off of the easement, you are trespassing, uh, and trespassing is illegal. Um, stay off the property unless you have a judge's order. Uh, when, I, when I came back after 30 minutes of running out to grab a coffee, I heard this destructive noise out here. I came out here and I saw the trees just being knocked over. I was on the, the easement now. They were off of the easement onto my personal property, destroying my personal property. I felt very violated, extremely violated. I'm probably gonna go up to the house and cry. Um, yeah. Well, did you say something to them? Did you scream at them? Did no, I, I called 911. I called the police. That's what law-abiding people do. They don't go interfere and try to take law into their own hands. Mm -hmm. I called the police, the deputy sheriffs came out, two gentlemen came out. Um, they told me that they couldn't char make any charges, that it had to be a civil civil trespass or civil action, mm -hmm. not criminal. Um, that um, he called, he, he said he had been contracted or they, the county had been contracted with Enbridge, this tree destroying machine, very, very powerful machine. 
um, off just on the edge of my property and it sat there running waiting for the go-ahead to come back onto my property and I said well I'm not leaving I'm not leaving you're gonna destroy my property no you have no legal right to do this so what did you do you sat in that chair all day or what yes yes sat there we had people come um, other other landowners that are helping us out um, it was amazing this morning everyone just pulled together I thought I was all alone and then made a few phone calls and there's find out there's a whole bunch of people that Enbridge is stepping all over it's just horrible they're they're not even there's they're not even following Michigan law in doing this um, they have created um, an event that has caused me now to really see violated action. they are breaking all the laws they don't care um, they just think apparently that they can come through and do this I think I think they're in a hurry because they probably are hiding something. They've been on our property uh, three times in the past two years to repair lines. I think with all these dead trees around, they're probably trying to knock them down so nobody gets on to the, uh, maybe the leak that's in the property. The I don't they've know. handled this with us. Uh, we've had three different people making three different offers, people threatening, uh, you know, you better accept that offer. You're not getting anything. Uh, we got a call from George Sweeta, right of way agent saying, um, you better accept this offer. I just got a call from Tom Hodge, the project manager. He says he's coming through whether there's a signed document or not. Word to the wise, between you and me, and I'm not working for Channel 7, they're gonna come out here and destroy the shit and settle up later. I know That's big are. business, okay? That's between you and me. Yeah. Word to the wise, between you and me, and I'm not working for Channel 7, they're gonna come out here and destroy the shit and settle up later. I know that's big are. business okay that's between you and me yeah All right. I, well I've said it I've yeah, said I know. they don't I mean, they're gonna they would rather break the law now and ask for forgiveness later All right. Debbie Hensey and what ha tell me about today and how I came here kind of today was a very crazy day uh, we started out thinking that by notifying the Enbridge people that they had no legal right to be on our property, that that would be sufficient. Uh, advising them to stay on the easement and not come off the easement, we thought that would be sufficient. Uh, half an hour after that warning, uh, they, they came out and just started destroying our trees. Um, I didn't know what to do. I called 911. The deputies came out. Uh, got the this this huge tree destroying machine off of our property uh, after calling his you know his contact at Enbridge uh, they were able to get off the property um, and uh, sat there looking like as soon as we turned our backs they were gonna come right back and continue destroying the property they would have made it through all of our the whole stretch cutting down huge trees within another hour they would have had it all done I think um, they, they trespassed. I know they trespassed. Uh, they broke the law. They're not following Michigan law. They're purposely uh, breaking the law. They're knowingly breaking the law, thinking that they'll just come back and say they're sorry later. Um, I was really touched and amazed by the outpour of people who came to, to be here and offer to sit with us. Um, to, to keep Enbridge in line and um, the amount of media attention that we've gotten it's just amazing I went from this morning thinking we were so alone with this and fighting the big company all alone to finding out that they're they've been mistreating people a very long time and breaking the laws and uh, and nobody seems to care well we care and we're letting them know that we care um, and uh, we were successful today in the courts and uh, Judge Michael Hattie apparently cares too because he signed an order telling them that they may not be on our property. They must stay in the easement. They cannot take the trees off the property. We have a hearing scheduled for September 25th and in that time I'm going to be searching every inch of my property to see where the leaks are in that pipeline because I know they're there. You believe there's leaks here? I believe there's leaks here. I think that they're trying to rush and cover all of this up. I don't think they need all that property. We've talked to other landowners who said Enbridge will stay within the easement to put the whole line in on their property. They're telling us they need 100 feet extra space. Just rip down all the trees, rip down all the land so that they can um, put in the same pipeline that they don't need to do that for on other people's property. Well, so, it's possible there is a leak and they're just trying to um, take care of it um, without anybody knowing about it. 
I think that's the case. I, that, that very well could be, and I'm going to investigate it. Well, I hope you watch some of my videos and uh, find out more about me, and you'll see what I'm doing. Um, and you'll be devastated in a way because this could happen to you. If you have a leak right here in your backyard, um, you know, there's a possibility your dog could die, uh, your kids could get sick, you could get cancer. Um, there's a lot of things that could happen. Um, you'll lose your property because you're going to want to get rid of it because you don't believe that you want to live here and no one else will purchase it. So you'll sell it for less than what it's worth and then the oil company will sell it for more than what it's worth down the road after they say everything's fine and clean and they'll have their workers living in it or some executive. Um, I don't know if you can get a very good shot of this but um, it's a beautiful house. We built it ourselves. You built it yourself? general contracted it yes yeah yeah we, we thought we were buying a piece of paradise here and well it is a piece of paradise um the only problem is embridge um wants to trespass and um come on your property um is there anything else you want to say embridge watches these they actually have a crew uh that follows me around and they actually have a crew that watches every single video i make um and i have had people tell me that so that worked for them what do you want to say to Embridge? Because they're going to watch this. I want to say shame on you. <laughs> um, you are not a government entity. You really actually have no business having eminent no domain being granted to you. Um, because they're a Canadian company? Can, no, no, because they're not a government agency. They're not a public utility. Ah, they are a good private point. company making private profits. Great point. And I think if you would spend a little more money on keeping your pipe in order, taking care of the landowners that you are devastating their land, uh, and a little bit less money greasing palms and uh, backdoor deals, you might be even more profitable. And you would be liked by people. So you don't like Embridge? Not for what they've done to my property. They have violated my family. They violated me. They violated our property.